good, pretty good looking swing here. Um, not sure how accurate you know my launch angle is here. It really depends on uh, you know how level the camera is, but it looks like the camera is pretty accurate. Therefore, this is probably plus or minus just a couple degrees. So I'm thinking it was probably a deep flyout. Um, you'll have to send me a. You can just send a message and, and tell me what it was. Um, but you got under it. It looks to me like you got under it just a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe you powered that thing far enough or the fence was close enough or the wind was blowing out like a lot of good things can happen when you hit balls really high um, but let me show you why you hit it so high again i'd much rather s see something like this than a ground ball to the pull side okay so the reason you are doing a nice job um, elevating the ball here is because your top hand is so quiet through contact okay you're not you know flipping over or rolling over that pitch so you know, if we look at this pitch coming in, kind of give you an idea. It looks like it's moving pretty good based on the amount of drop I'm seeing here. So it was, it was a fastball. And you can see your barrel. See how it's just dropping underneath here a little bit? So it's kind of going underneath this line, right? Down into here. Okay. And then it's going to start to work back up. And so you hit it at like kind of the perfect time as you're coming back up. So you can see, you know, it gets kind of steeper out here, right? So you got this little, this is a, you know, it is more of a home run hitter's move, okay? Um, meaning you're coming from underneath, you're hitting the bottom half of the ball, and you're not rolling the wrist. So you're going to hit really high fly balls with this move that this may be isolated, okay? But what happens is, What's likely happening is if you're a little late going on right now and you're trying to make contact back in here by your front toes, which I'd like you to make contact, you know, there too, not all the time. Or if you're a little late and you're trying to make contact back here, you're going to foul a ton of balls off. Okay, you're going to foul them straight back. You're going to foul them up and to the right. Okay, and then when you hit it here, you probably have one good area to make contact, you know, right about this big. If you're a little bit earlier than that, you're going to hit it off the end. If you're a little bit later, you're going to foul it foul it straight back okay or or shallow right field kind of thing so i'm wondering if that's going on with this swing plane i mean that's what's going to happen if you take this swing whether or not you're taking this swing all the time so what we're going to need to do is shallow out your um you know kind of the first part of your swing plane so again this was what six degrees we said okay so back here you're going to need to slot your hands a little bit higher so as you come through we got to pull the knob a little bit more through the front elbow directly to about this spot. I'm thinking your hands are dropping down and then coming back up to that spot. And that's exactly what's happening, okay? So when your hands go like this, then your barrel is going to do the same thing, right, under this, you know, pitch plane, if you will. Okay, so we have to pull. We got to use our left arm a little bit more. We got to think about pulling the hands forward a little bit more. If, if um, you know this is happening, you're going to get burned on anything above your thighs. Okay, and this pitch, I mean, this is a cookie, right? Like, we got to, you know, we got to take advantage of, of pitches that high. Okay, we also have to take advantage of pitches here. I think you're going to have a hard time right now hitting a pitch up there. If I were to pitch you, if I was to see this swing on a scouting report. I would I would just throw you fastballs that were you know belt high. That would be you know anything with velocity belt high. It's going to be hard for you to to time up. Now if I throw something down here, you're probably going to destroy it. Okay, so we just want to be multi-dimensional. Yes, if the pitch is down, awesome. I'm I'm glad that you can you know drop your bat head and hit this pitch here. Okay, but we also have to be able to do the high ones. So I want you to do some high T drills. I want you to flatten that off. Do your upper body isolation drills. The body's working great. Your load is fantastic. Your shoulders are fantastic. Your stride is great. Okay, it's just right here that left arm and left elbow get a little bit low. Okay, so as you go here, see how tight your left bicep is to your chest? So then what happens is you got to overcorrect it and then watch how you really pull that left elbow up right there. And when you make that correction, it's not that your left elbow is too high there. It's that it went from very low to very high quickly. And what that does is that drops the barrel. Okay. So as soon as that elbow works up and the knob pulls up drastically, 
that barrel will drop underneath and then come through. So, um, you know, the other option is you just miss this. I don't think you just missed it. I think that's a, you know, that's, hey, I was underneath this. I didn't, you know, I didn't just hit the bottom half of the ball. I came from underneath and lifted that ball. So um, let me know if you've been, you know, maybe getting under balls, fouling good pitches off, that kind of stuff, because that's what it is. And, and really the easy fix, do the high T drill, I'll put that in there. And just think about shallowing off your hand path. You know how to do that um, with the high T drill. Again, you know, you can set up a T, you know, set it up out here, maybe at your belt. Okay. And then I like to put, you can put anything, but you can put like a couple buckets in here, stack a couple buckets back here. Okay, giving yourself a little room. Okay, giving yourself about three or four inches. And then just kind of force yourself to bring your swing plane in here. You know, kind of like that. And then stay through it that way. Okay, that would be the idea of the, the high T drill.